Hello my students, today we are going to study unit 4, lesson 1, first word, uninhabitable, means not possible for humans to live in, promoted, made someone decide to do something, sustainable, different from what is usual or traditional, horse difficult for people to wear, measure, a way of describing the size amount or in something. Residents, the people who live in a place, renewable that can be replaced naturally, shaded, protected from direct light, desalination, the removal of salt from the sea water, irrigation, providing water to grow plants and crops, conventional means normal or uh, ordinary, specialized to study one particular subject, enrollments, successful application to become members of a course university skeptical skeptical doubting that something is right alternative using natural energy and products that don't harm the environment now let's practice the students didn't like her harsh teaching method and were happy when she returned to more traditional ways Number two, although he wears strange clothes, his behavior is really very conventional. Number three, I am skeptical about recycling because I don't think we really help the planet by doing it. Number four, even though the tennis court was in the shade of the trees, it was too hot to play at midday. Number five, we need more renewable industries that don't cause harm to the environment. Number six, its success will be a measure of how well the project is run. Number seven, my mom's a doctor and she specialized in children's medicine. Lesson two, let's deal with the new words. Industrialized, something related to industry. Congested, crowded or full of traffic. Bicycle lanes, parts of roads that only bicycles are allowed to use or to park. City dwellers, people that live in large towns. Commuter, someone who regularly travel to work for a long distance. Now let's practice. My brother has to buy trainers from a company that specializes in shoes for people with big feet. Number two, it was a small agricultural town, but it has been industrialized and is now full of factories. Number three, there are some environmental differences between the north and south of the country. Number four, it's an old house, but the bathroom has been modernized. Number five, the shop assistant was very helpful and gave me some good advice on which TV to buy. Now, my dear students, let's deal with the grammar part. Our grammar part today is about the future. We can use many things to express future. Number one, we can use will. We can use will to make offers, promises to do something. I'll take you to the airport to make decisions at the moment or quick decisions. It's hot in here, I'll open the window. Or I'm very hungry, I'll order for food. To make predictions about what you think will happen. I'm sure Dave will win the final. But we can use going to plus verb infinitive in order to express something that is that is going to happen in the future, but is usually planned. For plans, we have already decided to do before the moment of speaking. We have already decided on our holiday destination. We are going to spend two weeks in Turkey. For prediction about the future, which are based on present events. Simon's going to fail his math exam. He hasn't studied at all. So here I have evidence. We can also use the present continuous to express future, but usually with things that is really arranged. For arrangements, we have already made for a specific time in the future, usually with other people. Mary, Susan and I are meeting at 4 o'clock on Monday afternoon to discuss the plan. Or, I'm traveling next morning. We use also the present symbol to express future, but 
with only timetabled activities for timetable activities and events in the future. This meeting is next Monday at 10 o'clock in the morning. Now my dear students, it's your turn for practice. I'm so hungry, I want to order for food. Use well. I'm so hungry, I'll order for food. It's a quick decision here. Number two, Tom has decided to buy the medicine. Use well. Tom will buy the medicine. Number three, they have decided to get married in August. Going to. They are going to get married in August. So it's a plan. Number four, he promises to buy her a new dress. Use well. He will buy her a new dress. It's a promise. Number five, do you intend to buy a new flat? Are you going to buy a new flat? Thanks, my dear students.